So behind me is a Tactical Tourer XS 200 Series Land Cruiser. The XS, it stands for Expedition Series. So Tactical Tourers are a company that builds touring vehicles and they have been doing it for the last seven or eight years now and they've actually been working with Creative Conversions and they wanted to put together a signature series touring machine by Jace. So the reason why they came to me was because I'm driving around in probably one of Australia's most recognised and best set up touring vehicles on the market. Now Creative Conversions and all my other sponsors have helped me bring that machine together. And that's where Tactical Tourers and Creative Conversions came along and said, let's put that vehicle on the market so the customer can rock up and go, I want what Jace has got. And complete with a signature plaque on the dash. So let me walk you through what this awesome touring machine is all about from Tactical Tourers. So when you get to this touring vehicle, the first thing you gotta notice is the front. Now that's the part that's gotta look the best when you're driving down the road. Now on the front of this truck is a TJM full deluxe bull bar, color coded with side bars and side steps. There's also a set of spotlights in that bull bar. Now they're a set of nine inch XTM LED spotlights. Uh, we've also got a UHF radio, uh, it's a Uniden radio. Now that radio has an extra heavy duty aerial, so it's got a, a five watt with the heavy duty aerial. It's got that really big spring in it. Now there's also a winch, so we've got a 12,000 pound remote control winch. So it's got remote and manual control. Uh, that is a TJM winch. Uh, it's also got a snorkel. It's not your normal plastic snorkel. This one is a custom made pipe snorkel. It's got a roll. This thing's got a roll and it's got a roll on a set of shoes. So we've got a set of Mickey Thompson uh, MTZ P3s and we've wrapped them around the new Invader rims from ROH and they look, <laughs> man, they are a sexy rim. Now we've also got suspension under it. Let's face it, you've got to have some good suspension, especially a vehicle of this size and this caliber. So we've put a heavy duty TJM suspension kit under it with airbags as well. Now that's all part of the Creative Conversions fit out. Okay, now this truck has been extended. So Creative Conversions put that 650 extension in it, which is a really good extension length. That's the one that I run on my trucks. Once you've done that extension, it allows you to put a large fuel tank. So we've put a Brown Davis long range tank in. Now that gives you 180 litres. Now when you combine that with the forward tank, you'll get 271 litres of fuel. That's some serious touring range. So the first thing you're gonna notice about this truck is its ability to carry weight and tow big things. It has the ability to tow 4.2 ton and the total combined mass or the GVM, let's talk about the GVM of the truck, is 4.2 as well, which gives it a total GCM of 8.2 ton. Now that is absolutely massive. Now the advantage of that is you can take everything, including the kitchen sink, within reason. If you're gonna have a touring vehicle, you've gotta have some serious touring mirrors. So we've put a set of Clearview power folds on this truck. Now the beauty of the Clearview power folds, as you can see, I'll just press this button here. There you go, that's the beauty of the Clearview power folds. Now inside the cab, we've got two reversing cameras. One, that is one for the tow bar. Okay, and another one to give you a full view of what you're towing. Now there's an overhead console, and it's a really, really smick overhead console, and it's designed by the guys at the Department of Interior. Now it matches the, the trim inside the car. Now on the roof of this truck, I've got the uh, Rhino Rack platform. Now it's got, it's got what they call the backbone mount. Now mounted to that is where I've got a light bar, it's a 41 inch light bar. So on the roof rack, is mounted 120 watt red arc solar panel. Now that's designed to catch full sun. Now when you set up camp, you want a bit of shade, then I've got some awnings on the side of the truck. And one of them is the new Rhino Rack Batwing. And then on the other side is a 2.5 Sun Seeker. The Batwing, it is an awesome bit of kit to give you some, some shade around the back of your canopy when you set up at camp. The beauty of this truck as well, it is designed from the information that I have learned over the years and how I've set up trucks. And that's why I've given it that, that signature series, expedition series, you know, by All For Adventure, by Jace Andrews. And, and that gives it a personal touch. So this canopy is a Norweld canopy. It was designed to fit onto a 650 extension 
touring vehicle. You'll notice that this exact same canopy sits on my truck as well and the layout is very similar because that's, again, that, that is the experience that I've had uh, through touring out in Australia. So that canopy is fully wired up and fully set up by the Tactical Tourer team. Now that layout and design, well, that's where I come in and I put my input into that. It's got two spare wheels, so let's face it, we need two spare wheels. Generally, it, it is like a safety net. So there is a fold down ladder, so a ladder that comes down so you can get up onto the roof rack. And then also, it has a lot of storage and water. So there's about a 60 litre water tank underneath, not only uh, gravity fed on one side, but it is also a pressure pump on the kitchen side. There's also large volume toolboxes on both sides. So some nice toolboxes there. So on the driver's side of the canopy, that's generally what we set up as the control station. So you've got access to the Manager 30 display, which tells you what your batteries are doing. There's 200 amp hours of Enerdrive lithium in there. Now, the canopy layout is designed so that it's functional. Uh, there's some nice big drawers on the driver's side there, so you can put a lot of gear into. Uh, there's a big charging station so that you can charge your iPad, you know, your mobile phone. There's also a stereo system where you can hook up with your phone. So it's a Bluetooth stereo system to play your favourite tunes. The lights in the canopy, you'll notice, are, are LED, but there's also white and orange, and they're also dimmable. Now, the reason for that, let's face it, I've been up north on many occasions and the bugs can be horrendous. You put a white light on and there'll be bugs by the thousands. You dim it down with a little orange light, you can still see, but it keeps the bugs away. Now, I think the kitchen is one of the most important things when it comes to touring. As soon as you open the door on the canopy, you'll notice a 110 litre Dometic upright fridge. Now, when I first ever put an upright fridge in a truck, people said, really? Doesn't it all fall out when you open the door? Well, I'll let you on the secret, little secret, it doesn't. Trust me, they're designed for that. I reckon you halve your weight compared to those tucker box type fridges. So the thing about it is you've got to be able to cook here as well. So you need to cook that food. So you want space, you want table space. They have what's called a table drawer, which is pretty cool. Now in that space as well, there's room for uh, putting, putting things like appliances. You know, these days we're doing that. You know, you can put a sandwich press in there. You could put a coffee machine in there and there's 240 power. Now the 240 power, remember, comes from the Red Arc 2000 watt inverter which has a remote on the opposite side, and there's also power points on both sides, so you can access that, that easily. Now, pumping, pumping tires when you go onto the beach or you're driving in mud, you gotta drop air and then pump tires back up. I've put in a double cylinder ARB compressor, which I found to be the most effective, and that's connected to a 15 meter hose reel, which I tell you what, is absolute gold when you can run around the whole truck almost with one lead, and then it packs up just like that. That air compressor setup, I'll tell you what, it's gold, it's in all my trucks. So I couldn't let this build go out the door without putting a signature remap on it from Just Autos. When Jace rocked up, the 200 series, uh, the new Tactical Tura, it's a beautiful car. Typically Jace always wants power, but more importantly reliability. It's the huge thing, especially with the weight of these guys tow. There's nothing more important than reliability. I may want a Jace special tune, what do you reckon? Yeah, you done. Yeah? yeah? So let's face it, the 200 with that V8, the thing is barely working. So, a bit of a remap, and this thing will be a sweet touring package. Yep, that's it. That's what I want. That one there. This touring package that we did on this truck coming today with 134 horsepower and it leaves with 180 horsepower. So that's quite a substantial gain. Um, and this is measuring at all four wheels on the dyno. Um, so we had a bit of a play with it and our end result we're very happy with. Uh, it's going to be around about a 40% increase in torque, which is going to make a massive difference when you start towing. So the advantage of getting, giving it the horsepower upgrade is this thing will be able to pull out, overtake with a load on, towing something really heavy, and it's got that extra bit of grunt that you need to be safe on the highway and also to be very efficient off-road. So this machine is the ultimate touring machine to travel this awesome country of ours. This truck here has to be one of the best touring trucks on the market. Other than my truck, which is copies. 